Good morning everyone. Here we are on the uh, fabulous Ottawa River on a beautiful morning. It's going to be a hot and stinky one during the rest of the day, but right now it's dead calm, uh, a little overcast, um, just, just a beautiful morning, not a breeze at all. It's supposed to be like this most of the day, which is going to make it really unbearable later on, but perfect right now. And uh, we're out uh, hunting for bass, but really anything that uh, wants to play along is um, fair game. Day like a uh, morning like this, uh, I think it's uh, prime for some top water. So I think I'm going to throw on a couple of uh, top water lures, see what's, uh, if I can get any reactionary bites or any bites at all, and uh, we'll go from there. Head shakes. There we are. Geez, must have hit him right on the head. There we go. Nothing huge. But Oh, not hooked very well either. Not a bad little smallie to uh, start the morning off. There we are. Missed him. Oh, he's following it. Okay, when I find that happens, it's time to throw out the uh, wacky worm to get that follow-up hit. Got him. Always oh, seems to work. He took that pretty good. Oh, nothing big. A little bit uh, smaller than the last one, but... First cast with my wacky worm. Got myself a feisty little smallmouth. And I think I lost my wacky worm as well. But I knew he was on a short leash. He was very battered up. There we go. This one's uh, got a little bit more size to him than the last two. Not much, but a little. Not bad. A little bit of an upgrade. Not huge. Here we are. What do we got here? Oh, it's a pike. Don't lose my worm to a pike. There we go. Nothing big. It wasn't hooked very good, which is fine by me. Just let me take your picture. There you go, nothing huge, but uh, someone who's playing the game. There we go. Oh! 
That's always the danger with the wax worm. That uh, they're gonna pull off the worm. What happened? That seems to be the uh, what goes on around here for some reason. The uh, a lot of non-committal fish here. They they like to nip at it, but they don't like to uh, just grab it. Oh. Try a fluke here. Jeez, I got a fish and he's just, my, my worm is just sitting outside the boat. I almost lost my, almost lost my rod there. And he's a decent one too. Lost my my worm, but yeah, he's the best one of the morning so far. Ooh, yeah, lost my worm again. There we are. Oh. There we are. Not big, but he's fighting like a champ. I wonder if this is the guy who's been hitting it before. Oh, wasn't hooked very well either. Uh, seems to be about the standard size this morning. There we are. Got something. Just lost something. Once again, non committal. There's something. Got him. <laughs> no, I lost my lost my worm to a little dinker. No, they don't get much smaller than that. There's a hit. Got something. Had something. Is it hit? Oh. Again. Jeez. Grabbing the uh, worm by the by the ends and not uh, taking it in the middle. Maybe it's me who's just not being patient enough, just allowing him to take the whole thing. I don't know. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Got this guy, I think. Yeah, got this guy. This guy feels like he's hooked. 
like he's not. Oh, boy, that was lucky. I think it might be the best one of the morning so far. <sighs> yeah, he might be the best one so far. Ooh. There we go. There's another one. Jeez. Got him. At least I didn't lose my worm in this one. About, uh, it's about what we're looking at t today. For those of you fishing the Ottawa River, the uh, bubblegum color or pink color is a must. There we are. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, what I've done, I've uh, I've added some O-rings to it. See if that uh, will lessen the amount of worms that I'm losing. Here, here we go. Got him. There we are. Got him. Well, O-ring did the job on this one. Again, normal size smallie for today anyway. There we are. Got him. He was a nice one too, but I didn't lose my, I didn't lose my, uh, my worm. So this O-ring seems to, O-ring seems to be working. There, got him. Yeah. Ah. So much for the O-ring theory. All right, re-rigged up again on a new uh, wacky worm with O-ring, casting over the spot where a fish jumped a couple of minutes ago. Whoa, there was a big fish that just jumped down there. It completely breached the water. There we go. There we are. Uh, did I lose my worm? No, actually, it was one of the ones that hit earlier and my worm came out of his mouth. There we go. Unbelievable.
Nice one, barely hooked. Now, this guy might be the biggest one of the day so far. The river this morning is getting littered by my leftover wacky worms. I had fish are stealing from me. Last fish still had it in his mouth when he hit <laughs> this last one. There's a hit. A hit. Got him. And just, there's another worm that came from his mouth. Oh, there. I'm getting all these ones that originally missed. Getting them all back now. There, big, oh, look at that. It just came right off. This is nice fish. There we go, the best one of the morning so far. I've been sitting in this one spot now for a while and uh, seems to be uh, quite a few bass hanging around. Seems to be, it's just on the edge of a rocky shoal where it just gets a little bit deeper. It gets a little bit weedy and a little bit deeper and that seems to be uh, where they're hanging out. Something. Got him. Guilty. Oh. Do you see that, everybody? Wacky worm came flying out of his mouth. He's the last guy. He was the guy who hit my lure last time. I'm putting on a clinic this morning, everybody, on how not to land fish. I wonder what my uh, percentage hook ratio is. There. Yeah. Right by the boat. There we go. This definitely wasn't the guy from before. Little guy. Oh, yeah. I hope he's got it and he's just not holding on to the... Oh, nice fight. There we go. Nice fish. Go. Nice one. There we are. Again. Another flute. Hit. Uh, I think I got this guy hooked. There we go. Ah, nothing huge, but he hit it. Uh, he hit it well. Uh, 
a little smaller than usual. Well, this morning has been actually a very fun morning. Lots of bass this morning. The uh, wacky worm and the fluke seem to be the champions of the day. They seem to be the ones that were uh, hitting the most fish. I'd say probably the wacky worm a little more, but uh, the combination of the two was just hitting the fish. Too bad I couldn't land a few more than I did, but uh, lost a lot of wacky worms, but uh, still a fun morning anyway. Anyway, everybody, thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, I'll see you again soon.